There are lots of things we overlook and see them nothing important about them on a daily basis. And these habits can cause us pain sometimes because the healthy habits are very essential for our health. Why? Because they determine our optimal health. An inability to see or take them seriously and even hold them to act can cause either illness or even death. One of these habits is food storage, and it is important. Storing food properly is important because it extends the life of the food, and it prevents the growth of bacteria and other microbes that cause food poisoning. Improper food storage can cause all kinds of problems, ranging from minor stomach pain all the way to death. When it comes to fruit and vegetable storage, there are lots of questions many people ask. One of these questions is how long should fruit and vegetable be kept or be stored in the refrigerator? This is what we are focusing on today on Buffer Show. And let's do that after the break. I'm Buffer, an integrative nutrition ex specialist. And you're watching both our health and nutrition talk show. Let's take a commercial break. Thank you for joining us today. I'll be right back. Hello, do you want to live your best? You want to live your way into a healthy and beautiful body, free from all forms of diseases such as diabetes, high blood pressure, cancer, hemorrhoid, and so on. Are you limited to particular food intake due to your health status? Oh yeah. I bring to you good news as you can eat what you want. Yes, you can. B and B African Healthy Food provides foods that suit all forms of health status with long life. Contact us today for any of these services. Holistic Nutrition Consulting, catering based on individual health status such as diabetes, high cholesterol, high blood pressure, among others. We also do catering for household offices, small and big events. Visit us in our office at 10039 Bisonet Street, Suite 228D, Houston, Texas, with zip code 77036. You can as well book an appointment with us on our website www.begandbomservices.com or call 347-61-3548-5. 347-61-3548-5. All order can be delivered to your doorstep. As B and B African Healthy Food, your health matters to us. Welcome back from the break, viewers. This is Bofa Health and Nutrition Talk Show. If you're just joining our broadcast, and our topic today is food storage, and we are focusing on how to store vegetables and food in the refrigerator and still keep the freshness. How do we achieve this? Let us educate ourselves on this today because many people cause themselves a lot of pain when they could not properly store their foods. I mean, when they find it so difficult to give their foods, especially fruits and vegetables, proper storage. But before we even talk about how to store these foods, let us first talk about the type of food that must not be stored in the refrigerator. Because not all the food go in the refrigerator. And many people don't know this. They just throw everything they bring from the store, from the market, in their refrigerators. Now, what food should not be kept in the refrigerator? Example of these foods are banana, coffee, tomatoes, mango, watermelon, papaya, that is purple, honey, fresh apps, oil, melon, avocado, onion, potatoes, garlic, and bread. 
don't keep all this. Don't store them in the refrigerator. They don't go into either freezer or refrigerator. Let us move on to vegetables. Now, there are some vegetables that cannot be stored in the freezer. Some can go in the fridge, some can go in the freezer. Which vegetable should not be frozen in the fridge? Eggplants, potato, except for smashed potato. Sprout, radishes, lettuce greens. All this should not be frozen. Now, should you store canned vegetables in the refrigerator? The answer is no. It's absolutely no. It is better to keep your unopened canned vegetables on the counter or cupboard instead of the fridge. This type of veggies can last from one to two years, depending on the manufacturer. Take note of that. Now, I'm sure you will be asking yourself right now that which food should be stored in the refrigerator then? Of course, perishable foods are food that must be stored in the refrigerator because they spoil easily. They decay or they even become unsafe to eat if not kept at a certain temperature. This food should be stored properly and kept in the refrigerator or freezer. Condiment foods like ketchup is one of the food that must be stored in the refrigerator because it's a condiment that can spoil quickly and can cause food poisoning if handled wrong. However, if refrigerated correctly, it should last three to five days in a fridge with no problems. Mayonnaise is another one. It's another one that goes in your fridge. Yes. Eggs must be refrigerated as well. You have two sides in your refrigerator. You have freezer and you have regular fridge. Your eggs go to your fridge. Fruit and vegetables, some fruits and vegetables must be refrigerated as well. We are coming to that in a minute. You see, not only does refrigeration help keep the ingredients cold, but it also helps to protect the food from spoilage. Yeah, that's what they do. It helps to keep the food cold and also protect the food from spoilage. Now, how do you store your vegetables to stay longer in the fridge? I'm talking about vegetables now. You want to separate vegetables from fruits. You don't want to put your fruits and your vegetables together in the, fridge, in the fridge. Separate them. Put your vegetables in the fridge by itself. The next thing you want to do to keep your vegetable longer in the fridge is you want to rinse your veggies in advance. You want to wash it even before putting it in the refrigerator. Why? Because with pollutant pesticides and insecticides in the food industry, thoroughly washing your produce is a must before storing them. However, other people use vinegar. They don't just use tap water. They use vinegar instead of ordinary water. They use vinegar to remove the dirt and harmful compound found on the surface of the fruit. And let me tell you more about using vinegar. Why vinegar is an overall cleaning agent due to its acetic acid content. You should also consider the acid concentration and purpose. So therefore, mixing a tablespoon of vinegar with water does something. So you want to add two teaspoons to the water and rinse your vegetables before putting them in the refrigerator. Even when you buy organic fruits and vegetables, the bacteria and fungi that grow on them still need to be eliminated. So an excellent way to clean your fruits and vegetables is by mixing vinegar with water to rinse your food, depending on the quantity you have. So go ahead and do that all the time. So after buying from any local grocery, make sure you take 
your fruits and vegetables out of the packaging from the manufacturer and wash them thoroughly. Clean them with water and mix the water with vinegar. Many of us, we just buy from the store, we put them in the refrigerator or put them on the countertop or in our pantry. We don't wash, we don't clean, we don't do anything. We touch the food when we are ready to eat it. No, you cannot do that. You want to give them a few minutes to drain completely after washing before eating or using them or cooking them. Or probably if you want to seal them in the plastic bag. I When I buy pineapple, my strawberry, my blueberry, I remove them from those packaging. I put them, I wash them thoroughly, make them drain, I mean the water drain, then I put them in my storage bag, plastic bag. Yes, I use this type of strainer to drain my vegetables and fruit. Wash it, put it here, let it drain, I mean the water to drain using strainer. You can do the same thing right here. You also want to store your vegetable in the right plastic bag. Use the appropriate plastic bag to store your food. I and mean, if I'm doing smoothie, I don't like putting ice because I don't want to break my blender. So I'd rather wash my food and store them in the freezer. Let it become frozen vegetables. Then I use it. It comes with ice in it. So I don't need to add any ice anymore. Then I store it right here. This, this is the type of the um, storage bag I use. You can get it from the, from the store. It's very cheap, not that expensive. It's not that expensive. Something like this. You, you can easily open and put your vegetable, your fruits in it and store it in your freezer. And whenever you want to use it, you grab it from the freezer or fridge. That is the way you store your food and make it stay longer and even fresh in your refrigerator. This is my pineapple, as you can see, is the, the Ziploc I use it. This is my pineapple. This is my strawberry. You see them, they're fresh. Anything you put in the freezer remain fresh. And that is why we advise that any frozen food are considered healthy food because they are from the farm straight to the freezer. So the freshness is still there. Yes, this is my strawberry. This is my blackberry. And this is my blueberry. They are all frozen. I put them in the freezer. After washing them, I store them in my freezer. So if I want to do smoothie, I just pick them one by one, one after the other, and blend it. I don't need to add any ice. This can be there for one month. Nothing will happen to it. And you still keep the freshness. And no bacteria will go there because bacteria don't live on that. Of course, any bacteria in the freezer will become frozen. Yes. And when you're using plastic bags, you want to use hair tight bags or containers. Why? Because it is no good to let the air or any smell inside the fridge goes into that container. Yes, you don't want that to happen. You also want to Importantly, avoid peeling too many veggies. For instance, some of us peel apple. You don't need to peel apple. You eat apple with skin. Some of us peel this strawberry. No, you just remove the leaves. Yes, remove the leaves. Banana, of course, you can peel banana and orange. Let me tell you, those banana leaves and orange skin, they are very good. They are good as a medicine for you. What I do to my orange peels is I, I, I dry them, I blend them, I use them as tea. They are medicine. 
The same thing, banana peel. You can cook the banana peel and drink the water. That work as a sleep medicine. It's good for insomnia. It's very good for insomnia. If you are having trouble with sleep, you couldn't sleep properly, you don't have good sleep, that is what they call insomnia. You want to drink that banana peel water. The one you boil. So all of them are useful. They are good for our bodies. You want to cook, you want to blend, and eat them, apply them. You can put the orange peels. It's a vitamin C in your oil to, to rub your skin or to scrub it. They are very useful. Nothing should be discarded in everything you use, except if that thing is not useful, it's not good. But so far from the fruit, almost the skins and the fruit itself are good for our body. So don't peel them. Avoid peeling too many veggies and fruits. Please do not peel. Now, please, you want to arrange all vegetables carefully so that they are not damaged by each other. Besides, this might help to make room for them to breathe. Even human beings, we need space. If you, are, if you are in my space, I'm going to tell you, please, give me space. I need to breathe. Same thing happens to these non-living things. They need space to breathe. So you want to give your fruit and vegetable room to breathe. So you want to separate them. You want to make sure you put them, you arrange them properly and carefully. Now, which container is the best to store vegetables or fruit in the fridge? Paper bags are good for mushrooms. If you want to store your mushrooms, you want to use paper bags to wrap them and put them in the fridge. You also want to use plastic bags or container for most veggies and fruits such as carrot, celery, broccoli, or cabbage. Broccoli, cabbage should not go into freezer. I'm talking about fridge itself. I mean, the freezer and the fridge. The freezer will frozen everything you put there. That is freezer. The other compartment is just regular fridge that make it cold. That is the two compartments. You may have the two doors. You may have the one that is one door, but you have freezer in the bottom or you have it on top. Anywhere you have it. Always, refrigerator always contain two compartments. Freezer and fridge. So I'm talking about the fridge now. Paper bags for mushrooms, plastic bags, or containers for veggies, such as carrots, celery, broccoli, or cabbage. We also want to use sealed bags for fresh herbs and grains. Yes, sealed bag. Now, there is one thing to store vegetables in the fridge for a long time. And there is another thing to make your veggies fresh longer in the fridge. I just taught you how to store your vegetables longer in the fridge. Now let's talk about how you can make your veggies fresh longer in the fridge. If you would like to keep your vegetables fresh longer in the fridge, you want to consider some of these following methods. Number one, you want to keep the inside temperature of your refrigerator about 34 degrees Fahrenheit. This seems to be the ideal temperature to keep veggies crispy and fresh. Next is you want to store different containers of vegetables in the drawer of the fridge. Yes. You want to get container. If your fridge doesn't come with container, you see small, small container, clear one. You want to buy them and store them in your refrigerator to give your fruit and vegetable room and space and to arrange it properly. Let, let me show you how this plastic, you know, this container that you can put in your fridge, how it looks like. Let me show you. 
container like this will make you arrange your refrigerator properly, neatly. If you have two of these, it goes into your refrigerator. You arrange everything in it properly. You don't just throw bread, you don't throw um, fruit, you don't throw vegetables. In. No, you need a container like this to properly arrange all you put in the, free, in the fridge. Yes, this is what you need. It is safe to store them in the bottom of the fridge so that you can protect them from any other foods. When you have your veggies, put them in the container I showed you and put them in the bottom so that other food, for instance, if any food you want to, you know, uh, spill, like the oil or water want to spill, it won't get into your vegetables. And some of us put the raw meat in the fridge and we put it on top of the, 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 the shelf and the water is dripping into your vegetables, your fruits. No, you can't do that. Those meats, those, I mean, fish and stuff, they carry bacteria. Bacteria in that can get into your vegetables. And that's why I always say when you go to the store, when apart from getting the one that is already packed, wrapped with plastic, you still need another plastic bag you want to put the meat or fish or chicken in it to tie it so that when you put them in the cart, the water, whatever is dripping, does not get into other food that is ready to eat food you have in your, in your cart. The water doesn't get into it, doesn't drop into it. You don't want anything to drip. Same thing happens to your refrigerator. You want to make sure that anything you put on top is not something that can contaminate the one in the bottom. Since your vegetable is going to the bottom, you want to make sure that whatever you put up there are not something that will drip and contaminate your food. So put some things, things that will, will not drip or contaminate your vegetables, your food in the bottom on the top of your fridge. Next thing you want to do is you want to freeze your vegetables for an extended period of time in case you don't eat them right away. You want to freeze them. Most of your vegetables, you want to freeze them if you are not eating them right away. Because many of us we come back from the store, we put everything on the countertop, we put them on, on the floor, we don't take care of them. If you are not eating them within 24 hours, put them in the fridge the one that goes into the freezer let them go into the freezer and before you do that you want to make sure that you wash them you clean them drain the water before freezing them and remember to blanch and cool them down to maintain their quality yes you should also use freezer safe container to better freezing them yeah for better freezing next you want to do you want to remove the leafy green tops from carrots especially and strawberry as well to prevent the top of that carrots or strawberry from absorbing the nutrients yes you want to prevent the tops of carrots or strawberry from absorbing the nutrients if you remove the leaves you don't put the leaves and the food together in the fridge or in the freezer. Remove them first. You also want to wrap cucumber in a paper towel. Yes. Once they dry out totally, you want to cover them with a paper towel to avoid sogginess. Because if you don't do that to carrot, carrot is not that strong. It's not a strong vegetable that stay a longer time in the fridge if you don't wrap them. They become soggy if you don't wrap them. So you want to wrap them to prevent this, you know, to avoid, you know, um, sogginess. Now, how long do your vegetables last in the fridge? Yes, spinach, summer squash, sprout, peas inside the pot, broccoli and asparagus can be stored 
in the fridge between three and five days. Potato, lettuce, cucumber, cauliflower, those can go for about a week. Both red and green peppers, green onion, celery can be more than one week. Unfortunately, the fruits and vegetables we buy are loaded with pesticides and chemicals that can harm our health. Pesticides are typically utilized in crop cultivation. We all know that, especially when growing leafy greens. However, fruits and veggies contain a high concentration of pesticides. High quality of chemical and pesticides endanger human health by harming the brain and reproductive systems, affecting the immune system, and in some circumstances, leading to cancer. So to avoid such health risk, you are advised to do a fruit or vegetable wash before storing or eating them. Yes, this is, this is the only way to avoid all this health risk that is attached to this, not washing your fruit and vegetables. The only thing is to wash them, clean them, wash them, or store them where you're supposed to store them before eating. That's all you can do to avoid this health risk. Now, I said it before, I'm going to say it again. Never forget it is a great idea to store most of your vegetables in the fridge for any later use. If you are not using it immediately, if you are not using it within 24 hours, don't forget to put it in the fridge or freezer. The one that goes in the freezer, go to the freezer. The one that goes to the fridge, let it go to the fridge. The one that goes to your countertop, your you know, um, pantry, put them away. To maintain their quality, you should also rinse them under clean water. If you need to add vinegar, like I said earlier, add vinegar to wash them. And let them dry out before storing in the fridge. Don't put everything without draining it. Water and the food or vegetable in the fridge or freezer warm. No, you don't do that. You need to dry them before storing them. And you ought to select the same bags or container to keep your veggies or your fruit for longer term storage. Yes, this is all you need to do. If we can practice all this, if we can have these healthy habits, we put them to heart. Like this is my heart. I want to keep it healthy. Do the same thing to the food you eat. Because that food goes straight to your heart. And that's what is going to make your heart healthy. And once your heart is damaged, oh my goodness, that is the end. To fix it, it's going to be ridiculous. So it's better to do it now than waiting until it damages everything in your, in your system. All right, people, this is where we are going to stop today. Until next week, while I bring you another information on healthy living. I'm Buffer, holistic nutrition health specialist. Eat well and look healthy. Good night, and thank you for joining us today. Bye.